Welcome to all of you. Congratulations to all of you. I want to acknowledge the family members who have supported, encouraged, in some cases paid for this education. I want to acknowledge the faculty and staff and mentors who have guided these students through their successful academic careers. I would like to recognize other members of the platform party who are with us today to celebrate commencement. Mike Bullis, Dean of the College of Education. <laughs> David Frank, Dean of the Robert D. Clark Honors College. Larry Singel, Associate Dean in the College of Arts and Sciences. Charles Martinez, Vice President for Institutional Equity and Diversity. Francis Dyke, Vice President for Finance and Administration. And Paul Shang, Assistant Vice President for Student Affairs and Dean of Students. And I would like to thank the marshals who are assisting us today. Lisa Frankel, Professor of English and serving as the doctoral marshal. And Marley Miller, Senior Instructor of Geological Sciences, serving as the master's marshal. I'm Richard Larivier, and I'm the president of the University of Oregon. And it's my honor today to introduce our commencement speaker. Dr. Robin Holmes, Vice President for Student Affairs, has set professional goals for herself and dedicated her life to the very reason for the existence of this university, namely our students. In my year here, I've seen her combine thought, action, planning, and implementation, ideals, and effectiveness. I've seen her wide-ranging vision come truly, become truly meaningful reality in ways that serve students now and will continue to serve them long into the future. As Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Holmes leads the university's efforts in support of students' academic experience and success. She oversees the Career Center, the Counseling and Testing Center, the Dean of Students, the Herb Memorial Union, the University Health Center, the Holden Leadership Center, University Housing, the Department of Physical Education and Recreation, and the Office of Student Life. Dr. Holmes is a licensed clinical psychologist and has worked at the University of Oregon since 1992. She served as Dean of Students and Director of the University Counseling and Testing Center prior to her appointment as Vice President. She has taught classes and workshops on multiculturalism, multicultural competencies in therapy, cross-cultural dynamics and conflict mediation, as well as identity formation and development. She is a pillar of this university. Dr. Holmes holds a master's degree and PhD from the California School of Professional Psychology and received master's and bachelor's degrees from Cal State Fullerton. It's my great honor to present to you a superb colleague Dr. Robin Holmes. They cut off my voice, so I developed two voices. They cut off my voice, so I developed two voices. That refrain is from the a cappella group, Sweet Honey in the Rock. And I felt it was apropos for my address to you this morning. You were young, smart, innovative, promising, privileged, highly educated, lucky, lucky people. Congratulations for graduating from an outstanding university. You did it. The long hours, the sacrifice, the papers, and late nights, it was all worth it because you made it. 
As a result of your hard work, you are positioned to attend the best graduate schools or to secure a prestigious postdoc or finally get a job. <laughs> the world is your oyster. Congratulations for what you have accomplished. Nice job. But, there is a but. But guess what? Your education is far from over. As a matter of fact, for all intents and purposes, your education is just beginning. After you leave the protective walls of the university, you will run smack dab into the obstacles of the real world. You know that world that everyone has been telling you about. Well, it's waiting for you. Now is the time to take all of the experiences, knowledge, passion, and know-how and to apply it to that world. And as you are attempting to do just that, you will run into obstacles along the way. How you negotiate those obstacles will be just as important to your success as the achievements that I know you will make. When you run into these obstacles, there will be an attempt to cut off your voice. So you'll have to develop two voices. I said many of you were young. Because of this, you will not always be listened to. You will not always be respected. You will not always be taken seriously. You will not always learn, know what to do. <coughs> Develop your voice. Learn who you are. Learn what you want. Listen to your voice, because it will tell you. But you have to listen carefully and honestly. Do what you need to do to serve others. Look to be a part of something larger than yourselves so you can really make a difference in this world. I said you were smart. Sometimes you may think that you are so smart that nothing or no one else matters. So refer back to my earlier comment about being young. <coughs> because you are smart, we have great expectations of you. Because you are smart, you may not, may not always be able to relate to others. Because you are smart, some people will resent you. Figure out ways to use your cognitive gifts for good, because gifts they are. Use those gifts to help others and to make a difference. Don't waste these gifts that were given to you. Don't use your gifts to isolate or think for a moment that you are better than others, because you are not. Use these gifts to figure out how you can relate to all people, no matter who they are or where they come from because that's truly being smart. Related to being smart, some may seek to shut out your voice because you are innovative and promising and highly educated. Who are you to change the status quo? Who are you to tell us how to do things, to make change, to discover things, to question authority or the way that we have been doing things for decades and centuries? What do you mean you are gonna find the cure to cancer? We tried that. It didn't work. In the world of work, you may find yourself all of a sudden thrown into a culture where thinking outside of the box, learning for learning's sake, exploring possibilities, or dreaming of what can be must be tempered by the bottom line, profits, or the reality of the economy. You may find yourself in the harsh light of reality this after four, six, or maybe eight years, when the sun and the moon seem to rotate around this wonderful opportunity to nurture and develop your voice, your consciousness, and your gray matter, you know, the whole higher education gig. The reality that you will encounter in the real world can be harsh and discombobulating and upset what you have grown to know to be your reality. But don't give in to that. Don't forget that feeling, that spirit, that unadulterated sense of being able to set the world on fire just because you wanted to. We need that in this country and in this world. And you represent our best hope at it. The other day, I was talking to a promising, young, smart, innovative student just like you. And we were talking about sustainability and the issue of light rail transportation in Oregon came up. I lamented about the fact that we so needed a high-speed train between Eugene and Portland. And he said, well, we're going to get one. Well, I gave him that look. 
and patiently explained how we had tried that already and it just wasn't going to happen. Don't get your hopes up. And he gave me that look right back, you know, the look that I know all of you have given to your parents or other older person that says, you just are just too old to understand. And then he patiently explained that he knew we would obtain light rail because the young people wanted it to happen. And they still believed even though the older people couldn't anymore. We need that kind of thinking. We need the young people to believe in what has not come before, to have the audacity to think it will come just because they are going to focus on it and make it a reality. Don't stop believing. Don't for a minute squelch your audaciousness. We need young people to believe in the future and change and possibility. You are our future, you are our hope, and you are the new way. That's who you are. And you'll have to find your voices in multiple ways in order to hang on during the onslaught of self-doubt, criticism, naysayers, bad luck, and non-believers that you will meet along the way. They will cut off your voice, so you must develop two voices, so you always have a way to speak your truth. If it were 50, 30, or even 20 years ago, some of you wouldn't even be at this illustrious ceremony. No way. You young women, you people of color, you gay or lesbian folks, any of you who have a visible disability, any of you who are very poor and or from disadvantaged backgrounds or just too old, if you were from any of these groups, you wouldn't be in college. You wouldn't have had re received graduate teaching fellowships to provide you with great opportunities to learn more about your chosen field of study or to help you offset the cost of graduate school. You wouldn't have been considered smart enough or resourceful enough to manage the grueling demands of higher education. You would have been shut off and your voice silenced. You would have been on the sideline on a playing field that was perpetually bowed in a direction that would never allow you to find an even surface. They would have cut off your voice and you would have never been able to develop it. Not like you have the opportunity to do now. Even though the shadows of those despicable times still linger in the corners of institutions and expectations, the changing times that we are living in make it infinitely more possible for you to develop two, three, or even four voices, no matter who you are, no matter where you came from. But you have to do it. We can't do it for you. You are encouraged to develop your voice and sing it out so that we can all hear what you have to say. And even when you run into those obstacles, even when someone dismisses you because you are too young or too old or too black or too gay or too female, too poor, too smart, too, too, you have to keep on singing out. Why? Because it is why you are here because perhaps you will be the one to discover the cure for cancer. Perhaps you are the one to help a person who without your compassion and willingness to listen would have ended their lives. Or a child who because of your understanding of child development and willingness to speak out was rescued from a perilous situation. We need your voice. I found out in a dramatic and harrowing way that we don't have all the time in the world to develop our voice. The time is now. About eight years ago, I was astonished to find out that I had a blood clot in my leg. As the drama of all that unfolded, it was also discovered that I had a cancerous tumor. In order to remove the tumor, they needed to operate. And if they operated, the blood clot could dislodge and kill me. As the doctors were consulting each other, trying to figure out what to do, I remember sitting there in this surreal state of mind, thinking, this can't be happening to me. You might be surprised why I was actually thinking that. Because only three months earlier, I had, for the first time in my life, visited an astrologer. And during, well, it is Eugene after all, right? <laughs> during my reading, she said to me that I had very important work to do, and the world was counting on me. I had a lot to say and do, and she could see that it was gonna be happening very, very soon. I would be speaking in front of huge crowds helping people with important issues. And she stressed how critical it was for me to accept this responsibility. And I did. And as I lay there, getting ready to be wheeled into this surgery, I remember saying out loud, mind you, I did say it out loud, 
I can't die. Joanna said that I had important things to say. I have to be here to say them. Well, obviously, I did not die. And ever since, I've taken very seriously the importance of using my voice. Maybe there's someone out there who looks like me, has a similar story or background, and they don't know that they, had something, they have something to say or the responsibility to say it. And maybe because they are hearing my voice now, they are realizing that they do. And just as that astrologer predicted, I am in front of amazing people during an amazing day in their amazing future right now. And that's an honor. You can make a difference, you know, in this game of life. You can use your gifts and your talents for good. You can help others and do things that are for reasons other than yourself or for your own glorification. And I guarantee you, when you do, you will feel wonderful. You will have to navigate the obstacles. You'll have to remember that young part of you that believed she could do anything just because she thought she could. You'll have to envision solutions to problems that we have given up on, or even problems we don't even know how to explain yet. You'll have to develop two voices and protect with a ferocious tenacity your right to warble out the tune that we need to hear at the time that we need to hear it. You can do that, and I think you will. So congratulations, graduates. Congratulations for what you have done up to this point. It is a great warm-up for the real heavy lifting, the real successes, and the real singing. We can't wait to hear you and to be blessed with the beauty of your song. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Holmes, for that superb speech. I'm pleased now to introduce James Bean, our provost, and ask him to come forward and begin the presentation of the candidates. Dr. Bean. It is understood that the appropriate degrees are awarded to those graduates who have successfully completed all requirements by the end of summer term. Those deserving of special recognition are the Honors College graduates who have fulfilled the supplementary requirements of the Honors College in addition to those of their major department or school and those graduates who have qualified for Latin Honors. The names of Honors College graduates appear in your program. Latin Honors are listed next to the appropriate graduates' names. I now ask candidates for the doctoral degrees to please rise and remain standing. President Lerivier, the candidates for doctoral degrees are presented to you for conferral of the appropriate degrees. Will the candidates for master's degrees please rise and remain standing? <laughs> President Lerivier, the candidates for master's degrees are presented to you for conferral of the appropriate degrees. Will the candidates for bachelor's degrees please rise and remain standing? President Lerivier, the candidates for bachelor's degrees are presented to you for conferral of the appropriate degrees. recommendation of the faculty and with the authority of the Oregon State Board of Higher Education, I'm pleased to confer upon you the members of the 2010 summer graduating class, the respective degrees which you have earned at the University of Oregon. 
Bachelor candidates, now is the time to move your tassel from right to left. No, right to left. <laughs> Please be seated. I would like to introduce Richard Linton, Vice President for Research and Graduate Studies, and Karen Sprague, Vice Provost for Undergraduate Studies, who will assist Provost Bean and me in recognizing the candidates. Good morning. The doctoral graduates, as you can see, are coming forward to be recognized individually. Our first graduate, Michael Bennett Smith, advisor George Rowe, PhD in English. Congratulations. Rachel Ann Hanna, advisor Lisa Frankel, PhD in English. <laughs> Julia Hefferman, PhD Education Studies, Jerry Rosiak, advisor. Raquel Maria Sapien Yamada, advisor Spike Gilday, PhD in linguistics. <laughs> Let's have a nice round of applause for all our doctoral graduates, including those that can't be here today. Next, we will have the master's graduates come forward to be recognized individually. Charles McLoon Crispin, Master's of Ed in Curriculum and Teaching. Scott Christopher Collins. Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Molly Catherine McDougall, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Catherine Olin Shroom, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Jamie Catherine Frey Frankenfield, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Paige Louise Radinger, Master of Ed, you guessed it, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Teresa Marie Groves, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Robert Weatherall, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> William Galen Smith, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Elaine Rose Goldsmith, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Jennifer Mueller, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Jessica Ann Schultz, Master of Ed, 
curriculum and teaching. Joseph Allen Russell, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Galen M. Carpenter, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teacher Education. <laughs> Alexander G. Close, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Jacqueline Aviano, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Matthew Allen Peters, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Victoria Marie Taylor, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Megan Amber Wright, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Jordan Yvette Luker, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Cara Lynn Kronzer, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Rachel Harding, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Jessica George, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Christopher Michael Duke, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Katie Lee Stoneberg, Master of Ed, Whoa! Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Stacy L. Howe Leach, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Liesel Nicole Powell, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Patrick Thomas Limbert, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Sonia Marie Green, Green Amire, <laughs> Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> April Michelle Cosgrove, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Laura Duran Barnett, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Natalie Shellan Lewis, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Christine Michelle Cady, Master of Arts, Art History. Derek Everett Larson, Master of Music, Music Performance. <laughs> Laura Ann Jordan, Master of Arts, Linguistics. <laughs> Yannicka Petrol, Master of Arts, Linguistics. Marcella Alessandra Ruai Crawford, Master of Arts, Linguistics. <laughs> Sun Ho Chu, Master of Arts, Linguistics. <laughs> Yujin Chung, Master of Arts, Linguistics.
Lele Cho, Master of Arts, Linguistics. Sensi Chang, Master of Arts, Linguistics. Andriana Montez, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Master's Linguistics. <laughs> Young Hei No, Master of Arts, Linguistics. <laughs> Morgan Gage Miller, Master of Ed, <laughs> Curriculum and Teaching. Devin Samuel Fossils, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> David James Snipes, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Jet Thomas Johnson, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Rochelle Rosalia Nieto, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Elliot Bryant, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Angie Butler, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Sean Dean Begay, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Shannon Ray Williams, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Neva Louise Clara Link, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Sunny Day Catherine Real Bird, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Christopher Scott Bailey, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Nicole Barney, Master of Science, Middle Secondary Special Education. <laughs> Jennifer Madela, Master of Education, Curriculum and Teaching. J. Cynthia Stanley, Master of Education, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Lindsay Xavier Watchman, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Andrew Philip Siegel. Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Cody Gullowich, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. Richard Dambro, Master of Ed, 
curriculum and teaching. <laughs> Kevin Earl May, Master of Ed, curriculum and teaching. Joy Elizabeth Root, Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Amy Van Twile, NORAD, Applied Information Management, Master of Science. Archibong Itu. Master of Science, Applied Information Management. <laughs> Tracy Lynn Ann Brzezewski. Brzezewski. Master of Science, Applied Information Management. Oscar Hicks, Applied Information Management. Stuart Littleton Long, Master of Science, Applied Information Management. Thomas John Fetcher, Master of Science, Applied Information Management. Brad Ryan Crawford, Master of Science, Applied Information Management. Cecilia Tamore, Masters Applied Information Management. <laughs> Connie Marie Ashley, Master of Science. <laughs> Jason C. Stearns, Master of Science, Applied Information Management. Scott Leslie Turner, Master of Science, Educational Leadership. Brian Master of Ed, Curriculum and Alexander Paul Lundy. Master of Ed, Curriculum and Teaching. <laughs> Brienne Fish Heaven, Master of Science, Special Education. <laughs> Stacy Lynn Solberg, Master of Science, Special Education. Christopher Donald Brower, Master of Science, Special Education. <laughs> Kirsten Brooke Brilliant, Master of Science, Special Education. <laughs> Bo Philip Shrum, Master of Science, Special Education. Clifford Bracia Vandegrift, Master of Science, Special Education. <laughs> Chin Chu Tsai, Master of Science, Special Education. Joseph William Linehan, Master of Science, Special Education.
Diane Maller, Master of Science, Special Ed. Katie Jo Labby, Master of Science, Special Education. Lorraine Sims, Master of Science, Special Education. So Yan Park, Master of Arts, Linguistics. Yosuk Park, Master of Arts, Linguistics. <laughs> da Hei Sun, Master of Arts, Linguistics. <laughs> Kwang Hoon Kim, Master of Arts, Linguistics. Che Un Chan, Master of Arts, Linguistics. <laughs> Chin Wan Choi, Master of Arts, Linguistics. <laughs> Let's have a great round of applause for all of our master's friends. And now I ask that the candidates for the bachelor's degree come forward to be recognized individually. <laughs> Mariah Moran Cohn, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Timothy William Wilcox, Bachelor of Science in Music. <laughs> David Joseph Delmar, Bachelor of Science in Political Science and Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Carter James Troughton, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Justin Kupono, Bachelor of Science in Human Physiology. Andre Navel Crenshaw, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. Kyle Ryan Hatfield, Bachelor of Arts in English. Tyler Dean Lawrence, Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Alice Edith Santos, Bachelor of Arts in Spanish. Brendan Walker Cushion, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. Bradley Mazzola, Bachelor of Science in Sociology. <laughs> Brian Enders, Bachelor of Science in General Science. <laughs> Sean Nicholas Brady, Bachelor of Science in Political Science. Elhum Oshkui Tabrizi, Bachelor of Science in Economics. <laughs> Abigail Saavedra, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. <laughs> Catherine Jane Yurdi, Bachelor of Arts in English.
Erin Johnson Hughes, Bachelor of Arts in Women's and Gender Studies and International Studies, and she's graduating cum laude. Justin Rosales Sandoval, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and Spanish. Nasser Al Sagur, Bachelor of Science in Economics. Marissa Nicole Ray, Bachelor of Arts in Asian Studies, and she graduates cum laude. Tyler Jefferson Gramson, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. Luke Jason Lowen, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Yeah. Jessica Marie Donbaugh, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Janica Hogberg, Bachelor of Arts in Art History. Andre John Laguire, Bachelor of Science in Accounting and Economics. Nora Ann Grace Lambert, Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology. Aileen Alessi, Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology. Erica Ray Lang, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. Carrie Denise Correll, Bachelor of Arts in English. Jacob Welker, Bachelor of Science in General Science. Scott Alexander Allen John, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Luli Irma Danisa, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Madalena Raglione, sorry, Raglione, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Marky Mew, Bachelor of Arts in History. Kendra Allen, Bachelor of Arts in International Studies. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Bailey, Bachelor of Science in Human Physiology. <laughs> Courtney Renee Clark, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. <laughs> Ryan Traxel. Bachelor of Science in Human Physiology. <laughs> Juliana Watkins, Bachelor of Arts in Asian Studies. <laughs> Ryan Michael Latham, Bachelor of Science in Political Science. <laughs> Elizabeth Catherine Babs, Bachelor of Arts in English and she graduates cum laude. <laughs> Elizabeth Ivy Schultz, Bachelor of Science in General Science. <laughs> Mabel Bomema, Bachelor of Arts in Japanese Languages and Literature. Chong Yip Cheng, Bachelor of Arts in Linguistics. <laughs> Molly Catherine Tanzer, Bachelor of Science in Women's and Gender Studies. Noelle Camille Mitchell, Bachelor of Arts in Women's and Gender Studies. Amber Lynn Hampton, 
Bachelor of Arts in International Studies. Christina Marie Smith, Bachelor of Science in Political Science. Brett Michael White, Bachelor of Science in Sociology. Chad David Lasher, Bachelor of Science in Economics. Jamie Lee Whalen, Bachelor of Science in Religious Studies. Jordan Heath, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. <laughs> and now the brother, Darren Heath, Bachelor of Arts in History. James Sparks, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Lauren Ashley Miller, Bachelor of Arts in History. Kimberly Nan Sisler, Bachelor of Science in Political Science. James Edward Moran, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. Jane Carruthers Ashley, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science. Chanel Matos, Bachelor of Science in General Science. Kelly Andrea Lombardi, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Michiko Christine Stoss, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. Emily Suzanne Fort, Bachelor of Science in Sociology. Zachary Ulrich Califf, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Aki Hammond Odera, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Rachel Marie Ponce, Bachelor of Science, Human Physiology. Shana Pauline Yellen, Bachelor of Science in Sociology and Psychology. Nicole Elise McDonald, Bachelor of Science in Economics. Taylor Marissa Pike, Bachelor of Arts in Medieval Studies. Sarah Elizabeth Dubik, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Arts. Samuel Matthew Briggs, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Kathleen Jane Fussner, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Christopher Liao, Bachelor of Arts, Business Administration. <laughs> Stephanie Gonzalez Vitali, Bachelor of Science in General Science. Erica J. 
Choi Buamenyu, Bachelor of Arts in English. Michelle Haley, Bachelor of Arts in English Literature and Business Administration. <laughs> Joseph Scotto, Bachelor of Arts in Spanish and Italian. <laughs> Brianne Quinn Pope. Bachelor of Arts in English. Lisa Ann Dunn, Bachelor of Arts in English. Okay, Lisa. Amanda Nicole Buckmister, Bachelor of Arts in English. And she's earned her degree cum laude. Kenneth Lake, Bachelor of Science in Economics. Lisa Kathleen Terra, Bachelor of Science in Sociology. Nicole Marie Ridings, Bachelor of Science in Sociology. Alicia Imogene Chan, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. Sarah Awad, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. Melissa Moore, Bachelor of Arts in German. <laughs> Nathaniel J. Meyer, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. <laughs> Louis Nova, Bachelor of Science in Political Science and Business. Thomas John Wright, Bachelor of Science in Geography. <laughs> Matisse Frazier, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. <laughs> Travis Stephen Evans, Bachelor of Science in Political Science. Kelly Detzel, Bachelor of Education, Family and Human Services. <laughs> Jacob William Cockley, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Johnny Lee Fu, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Bachelor of Arts in Digital Arts. Amy Adams Curtis, Bachelor of Arts in Accounting. Lane Patrick Ronnie, Bachelor of Science in Digital Arts. Nicholas Scott Layton, Bachelor of Arts in Spanish. Benjamin Austin Berry, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. Yasuki Shioka, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science and Economics. Amanda Marie Runyon, Bachelor of Arts in Art. Emily Marie Duckett, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Faruza Ashiro, 
Silva, Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration. <laughs> Stephanie Budi Shiono, <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Accounting. <laughs> Melissa FNU, Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration. Chita Lim, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. <laughs> Wen Chen Chang, Bachelor of Arts in Accounting. <laughs> Alicia Savage, <laughs> bachelor, <laughs> bachelor of Science in Art. and Denny Douglas McDowell, Bachelor of Arts in English. I think you get a sense of all the wonderful things that go on at a university just from listening to what these students have studied. So let's have a round of applause for them and for their accomplishments. I wonder if the graduates will join me in applauding all of these people who made all of this possible. I'm pleased now to introduce Derek Larson, who will lead us in the singing of the pledge song. Please stand and join in. to conclude our commencement ceremony. You are welcome to stay afterwards to take pictures with family and friends, and this rostrum will be available for pictures. And the platform members will now lead the recession of our ceremony participants. I ask that members of the audience remain seated until the graduates have left the seating area. Congratulations again to our graduates, and go Ducks.
Thank you. 